That's right, Pokemon NFTs launch on Polygon just sold out within seconds. However, this wasn't a launch from Pokemon officially itself. This was Pokemon NFT card packs that are being opened on chain. And let me explain. In a marketing campaign to get his name out there, Collector Platform, a Web3 servicing platform called Courtyard, initiated this promotion. And that promotion was that you can buy just for $5 a PSA graded Pokemon physical card. You purchase the NFT and it's a mystery pack of sorts. You don't know which one you'll get, but the PSA graded Pokemon cards are upwards in value of $500. That's close to a 100x return on your $5 if you hit one of these $500 cards. So what is Courtyard? Well, on its site, it says it allows you to vault, tokenize, and trade your collectibles, your assets, anywhere in the world. Now, the way that you will vault this is with third-party verifier Brinks, and they are known to verify assets in the real world and hold them inside of their physical locations. Why would you want to vault your collectibles and not just store them at home or in your safety deposit box? Well, there's no sales tax or high fees. The vaulting is free. It's held within Brinks' own vault, so you don't have to worry about any liabilities that happen to your physical assets. Not only that, and I sound like a commercial here, they give you a 1% fee for every trade that happens within your collectible on their site. To me, this is a no-brainer. Everyone has collectibles within their house that are worth hundreds of dollars, if not thousands of dollars. I know people with whiskey collections, shoe collections, sports car collections, you name it. The true benefit of this I see is proving provenance and having access to a 24-7 global marketplace. If you see right there, the packs are already reselling. They sold for $5. Some people didn't even open them. They didn't even care if they wanted the $500 value Pokemon card. They just wanted to resell the pack itself. And I guess the mystery around the pack of whether you win or not, people are already buying it at close to 10x of the floor price of $5. So you can see there, the packs are selling for close to 50 bucks each. And if you go on the Courtyard website, you can see that packs that were open, these packs were selling for well above the $5 mark. This was a stress test, a marketing promotion of sorts, and that's why they were able to give high value cards in these packs. I don't see that they're going to do this all the time, but this just stresses the importance of how valuable it is to tokenize your assets. Not only do you protect them, but you have a 20, access to a 24-7 global marketplace. This is already happening across a lot of assets. A company called Block Bar has already started its initiative with spirits and wines, one of the leading luxury items in the world that appreciates in value. We all know wealthy people with wine cellars or maybe whiskey cellar nowadays, but who has room for that and who wants to hold on to that liability? Let someone else do it. These assets right here has been vaulted, tokenized, and are now available on the open market. More and more the masses are now aware of alternate asset classes to hedge against inflation. Knight's Frank Luxury Index, they do this study every year. They have an inflation busters chart here. You can see that in the last 10 years, the last 12 months, the returns of some of these assets when compared to inflation. And this giant green line right here, we can't even see the percentage, is rare whiskey bottles followed by wine and then followed by watches. Yes, you can vault and tokenize watches. Also, we know a lot of name brand watch companies out there that have already released their watch as an NFT. We could go down the list here. We see handbags, cars, art, of course, is in the version of NFTs. We will live in a world where everything is tokenized. It's easy for everyone to trade it. So although it starts with Pokemon, you best believe this will affect the masses in ways that we have never seen before. We've already seen modern companies do this in Web 2 world. Now we're seeing it in Web 3. You guys all heard of this one. Masterworks is in Web 2. They have over close to a billion dollars in assets underneath management. That's a billion dollars that people invest into artworks. They fractionalize it to commercialize it so that individuals like you and me can buy artwork, which provides greater return than the stock, traditional stock market, believe it or not. Close to 20% returns. There's their net annualized track record. Now, this is on Web2. They've all done this through LLCs and whatnot. But in the future, guess what? This will all be tokenized into digital assets. Because only then can we track truly and transparently where the funds flow to and where they go and if everything's on the up and up. We've all had our fair share of rug pulls and we don't want to go through that again. If you want to see what alternate assets I'm investing into and my community is investing into, click on my link down below. I go over wins like this all the time, every single week with my private community. Check it out for only a buck and the last few calls I made were up 100x even in this market. We are winning, y'all. But regardless if news like this interests you, Web3 NFTs digital assets, follow along because I have three market updates weekly. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.